welcome to this video on the quadratic formula. If we're trying to solve a quadratic and it's expressed in general form, ax squared plus bx plus c is zero, then the solutions are going to be the quadratic formula listed here. You can see the notes in the Google Drive. I'm just going to go through the examples here. So our first one is x squared take x take 5 is 0. So our very first step is going to be to identify the values of a, b, c. So in this circumstance, the coefficient of x squared is 1. The coefficient of the x term is minus 1. And our constant term is minus 5. And so then we just plug these values into our quadratic formula. Minus b, so that's minus, minus 1, plus or minus the square root of b squared, so minus 1 squared, take 4 times a times c. And that's all on top of 2a. And then you just have to crunch this for the solutions. So we have 1 plus or minus square root of 1 and we've got minus here and minus here, so that's going to become positive. 1 plus 20 over 2. So we've got 1 plus or minus the square root of 21 over 2. And so there are our two solutions. X is either 1 plus root 21 over 2, or 1 take root 21 over 2. Hence the plus or minus here. Okay, so feel free to pause, copy down this example. I'm going to rub it out and go through the next one. Great, so our next example here is 7x squared take 5x equals 1. Now, our very first step is going to be to bring everything to the left-hand side here. So we have 7x squared take 5x take 1 is 0. Let's identify the values of a, b, and c. Coefficient of x squared is 7. Coefficient of the x term is minus 5. And the value of c is minus 1. Okay, and then we're just plugging it into the formula again. So we have minus b. It's going to be minus, minus 5. Plus or minus the square root of b squared. So minus 5 squared. Take away 4 lots of a times c. 4 times 7 times minus 1 and that's all on top of 2 lots of A so 2 lots of 7 so crunch this 5 square root of 25 and then we're going to have here negative and negative so again positive 25, 4 times 7 is 28 all on top of 14 and keep going. 5 plus or minus the square root of 53 on top of 14. And so we found our two solutions there again. 5 plus the square root of 53 or 5 take the square root of 53. Both on top of 14. Okay, again, pause, copy down. We'll go through the next one. Okay, C, x plus 1 squared is 3 take away x squared. So our very first step here is going to be to expand everything and bring it all to the left hand side collecting like terms. So we'll have x squared plus 2x plus 1 is 3 take x squared. Let's bring these two terms over. Okay, assuming we're competent with those algebraic operations, I took away 3 from both sides to remove it from over here and added x squared to both sides. Okay, and then when we collect the like terms, that's what we end up with over here. In this case, a is 2, b is 2, c is minus 2, and let's punch it in the formula.
lots of twos going on there. And let's evaluate it. Four plus four times two is eight times two is sixteen. And that's all on top of two uh, on top of four. Now that can be simplified. Um, obviously we've got the terms in the Okay, now that can be simplified further and they probably have in the solutions that you've got access to. But we're not concentrating on third operations at the moment. I just want us to get in the habit of doing quadratic formula. So I just want you to worry about getting to sort of this step here. It may appear different in the solutions because they have simplified it. If you really want to check, put yours into your calculator, put the textbooks into the calculator and make sure they're the same. But we're not concentrating on third operations, I just want us to become competent with the quadratic formula.